Hey everyone, so as you know, I am currently reading Berserk. I'm planning to make a big video on it. The problem is that Berserk's a big series and it will still take a few more weeks probably. So in the meantime, I wanted to, you know, make some general discussion videos about manga that don't require me to read any more series. And because I'm so focused on Berserk, I'm kind of in a bit of a creative rut when it comes to other stuff right now. So I asked you guys for some suggestions. A lot of them were, were about reading other series, which kind of defeated the whole purpose of what I was trying to do. <laughs> Probably didn't make that clear enough though, but you know, you know, whatever. So I did get a lot of really interesting suggestions from you guys on some things you'd like to see me talk about. The problem though is with most of them, I didn't really feel like I could make an entire video out of them. So instead, I decided to uh, rapid fire this shit. I'm going to be looking at all the suggestions you guys gave me and do a, do a mini discussion on each one. Retirement. Yeah, I kind of regret doing this already. <laughs> Why no one seems to care about age ratings in manga. I don't know if this is necessarily true. I just think that most of the people who read manga are at the point where it doesn't really matter. Like, most people reading manga are like 13 plus, and at that point, you're probably already watching R-rated movies and playing mature-rated video games. I don't think a mature-rated manga is really much different. And even if you're younger, like 9 or 10, you're watching Avengers and Star Wars, I mean, you can read Naruto. Like, age ratings are there because they have to be, but I really don't... You know, it, it it's whatever. If you're a parent or something, you know, make the choices you feel are right for your kids and yeah, yeah. Are there any series I will be giving a second chance? Specifically, Yozakura Family and Undead Unlock. Usually what I do is that I'll check out a series when it's brand new and if I don't like it, I'll stop reading it pretty quickly. But if it proves to, you know, gain a large following, become really successful like Undead Unlock and maybe Yozakura Family will end up doing, then I definitely want to try to get back into it. You know, I've done this with Jujutsu Kai I said no, I didn't really like the first couple chapters, but after I came back to it, I absolutely love the series. And to an extent with Demon Slayer as well. I'd just rather, you know, not follow a series from the very beginning that I don't like in hopes that it will get good. I'd rather, you know, wait a couple years for a hundred chapters to build up and, you know, then I can go through it all then and then see what it's really like. But yeah, if you're a fan of those two series, don't worry, I will eventually get back to them. Probably not for a while, but, but it'll happen. Are there any manga I would like to see get an English release? Well, yeah, holy shit. Now, there's the obvious stuff, you know, I'm talking Oshinoko, Ranger Reject, Sakamoto Days. Like, if something is in a super popular magazine, it's super successful, it's guaranteed an anime, it's absolutely gonna get an English release. But as for, you know, slightly more obscure series, I would absolutely love English physicals of The Record of Ragnarok. It is such a fantastic series, I would love to own it. And I really hope that with the release of the anime next month, uh, it will become a lot more popular and it will greenlight an English release. There's also Tokyo Revengers, which is a weird one. It does have an English release, but it's digital only for some insane reason. <laughs> it's like one of the most popular manga in Japan right now, and I have no idea what Kodansha was thinking. <laughs> so I really hope they decide to give it physical soon, because, you know, that... That would be a really, really big one. And from what I have seen of the series with the anime, it is really interesting. And it's definitely a manga I am interested in checking out. Uh, I do hear that it is ending relatively soon. So whenever that happens is probably when I'll give it a go. Manga alert, survival multiplayer. You know, out of all the games we could play, it would probably be Minecraft. It might actually be kind of fun. I don't know. Maybe someday if you guys want to see us stream Minecraft or some shit. Also, the new Cave and Cliff update. Holy fuck, it's amazing. Why don't I ever talk about other manga magazines, other manga apps? Honestly, from what I've seen, Shonen Jump is the only really good one. <laughs> and the reason I specifically cover Shonen Jump, like in these videos where I go over the whole magazine, it's just that we have access to all of the series running in the magazine. Pretty much every other manga magazine, we only get the super popular ones translated into English, and then there's just a ton of others that just exist. And that's why I mainly focus on Shonen Jump, because we can do a full dissection. And I don't know, like, there's a ton of other manga subscription apps, uh, but none have really caught my eye. I mean, obviously some have some great series and everything, but Shonen Jump just has so fucking much. And it's so, so cheap. I know Kodansha has, like, a partnership with Crunchyroll, where a lot of their manga go there. 
But I really think Kodansha should do the type of thing that Viz is doing, where just released a ton, dozens and dozens of series uh, just on their own subscription service. That would be fantastic. An update on High Guardian Spice. <laughs> For those who don't remember, uh, almost two years ago now, I made a video wondering what the fuck happened to the Crunchyroll original series High Guardian Spice. And the thing is, since then, there's really not many updates to give. Shortly after I made the video, it was revealed that High Guardian Spice was actually completed, at least season one, who knows if it will get more. Then at some point last year, we saw a sizzle reel which included about two seconds of animation from it. And now, just about a week ago, we learned that we are finally going to get more information on the series in the summer. Which also hopefully means a release date in the summer, because if it's really been completed for two years now, just what the, what the fuck? <laughs> but yes, I still intend to uh, watch and review it all. I'm very, very excited. Pump that spicy goodness into my ass. The Truman Show, it's a good movie. It's been a few years since I've seen it now, but I, I liked it a lot. You know, Jim Carrey, he's living in a TV show. It's all, it's all wild. It's cool. Invincible, this was a really, really really good show. I went into it completely blind without knowing about the comic or the story or the characters and it, yeah, it was fantastic. Cannot wait for more. I'll probably read it at some point. Belle Delphine, she's like the, uh, the bathwater girl, right? I, that, that's literally all I, you know, well, whatever you're into guys, you know, I, I, I don't judge or kink shame, you know. Creepypasta. I know there's like this stigma about creepypasta that's all like shitty and cringe and yeah, a lot of it is. I have actually read or listened to some some really cool horror short stories from uh, you know creepypasta sites, and I think there is a lot of creativity there if you if you go looking for it. Ryan's toy review, um, uh, free free Ryan, I guess. How old, how old is that kid now? Jesus. Can't can't be reviewing toys forever. I, I don't, mm. The Kaguya OVA. Why would I watch the Kaguya OVA? I don't want to see my characters get soiled by this, you know, horrid degeneracy. Why on earth would I ever watch that? Thoughts on the recent Vinland Saga chapters? Things were getting a bit controversial because we were in, like, a setup arc for about a year. And there were, you know, a few, like... Weird decisions that the story took that a lot of people weren't on board with, myself included. I thought there was uh, some weird things in these parts. But now that this new arc has gotten started, whew, we're back to some really, really fantastic stuff. And I'm super excited to see where it goes. Talk about manga that people love but I hate. Uh, this is a bit of a weird one. I don't actually think there's very many. Because when I look at all of the manga I really don't like, there's also a large portion of people who also don't like it, so I don't really feel like I'm alone there. Stuff like Seven Deadly Sins, Fairy Tale, they also have massive fan bases, but I can't really say those are series that everyone loves. Like, I don't think there's really any super beloved, acclaimed manga that I just hate. Maybe Fire Punch is, like, the closest, but again, like... It's Fire Punch. A lot of people still don't like it. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Favorite manga covers. That is a tricky one. There's so many different manga styles I love with such fantastic covers. I don't even know, like, how I would narrow it down to one. Soul Eater, Berserk, Magi, Vinland Saga. Even One Piece has some great covers. I mean, like, yeah, it has a lot of bad ones, but, you know, the good ones are, are pretty, pretty damn good. <laughs> As for bad covers, uh, I think ones that are just, like, a close-up on the character's face are usually not great and not particularly fitting. Covers that are super busy and cluttered. I don't usually like ensemble covers. And I mean, if I think a series in general looks ugly, it probably has ugly covers. <laughs> Thoughts on the new Demon Slayer ending? Oh my god, kill me. There, for whatever reason, have been a bunch of like new videos from popular YouTubers coming out talking about the new Demon Slayer ending and hyping it all up. At first I was like, Wait, they're doing a new ending now? That's weird. But then I realized, no, th this this happened like six months ago. Why are people talking about this now? They talked about the new Attack on Titan ending like instantly. I, I don't... But yeah, what they mean is that in the final volume of Demon Slayer, they added a whole bunch of new pages to the end to make it better. And yeah, they made it better. It still has that weird final chapter that I... 
Meh. But yeah, they, they made it better. Good for them. The history of manga. You want me to make a fucking documentary on the history of manga? But it's not very hard to explain at all. I mean, you had Osamu Tezuka. Uh, who made all of the manga up until he died. Then you had Kentaro Miura, who was responsible for any, you know, darker series that came out afterwards, after Berserk. Then you had Yoshihiro Togashi, who was responsible for every battle manga that came out after 1998. And now in modern times, we have Aka Akazaka, who has, you know, completely overhauled the industry, what people thought they know about manga, writing two top sellers in the same weekly magazine. I mean, no one else does it like this guy. He's, he's really moving us in to a new era of manga creation, and I cannot wait. In 50 years when people are telling his tale, I, I will take pride in knowing that I was there from the start. So that'll do it. That's, that's most of what you guys were asking for. If I missed anything, tough shit, it probably wasn't good enough. Whoops, I forgot to do this one. Uh, yeah, guys, don't be stupid. Don't buy, like, $100 volumes on eBay. Come on now, there's always a chance you can find them for cheaper. Always a chance they'll get reprinted. D don't lose hope, especially if it's, like, a newer series that's gone out of print. It there's a good chance it'll be back, so, you know, calm down. There is one suggestion, though, that I found to be very intriguing, and while I didn't think I could make a full video on what they suggested, I, I found myself reviving a very old idea I once had. That was to, uh, basically roast everyone's anime and manga opinions. So if you're interested in this idea, I would ask you to please leave a link to your My Anime List or Any List accounts in the comments below. And I will be making a video going over all of them, seeing what you have scored some of my favorite series, and proceed to judge you accordingly. Obviously, you only have to do this if you want to. It's, you know, all for fun and shit, but, you know. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. That's what we're doing next, and uh, I will see you guys then. Off to summer camp. Spongebob! Through nature I will tramp. Spongebob! Who are you screaming? While milk is streaming right out of your nose.